say straight off the bat what I do. At the end of every month or be probably a few days before the beginning of each month, I'll plan. On the weekends, I always organize and get myself ready for the week. So it, it kind of comes in kind of two folds in a way. So I like to think about it that way. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to share with you guys how I actually plan my months and also how I organize for the weekend. So let me start with first organization. Organization means so much to me. Y'all don't even understand. Like trying to balance everything comes with being organized. So if I'm not organized, my professor life, my content life, social media life, including my branding for my business is all over the place. So I need to kind of get a little bit organized. And as you guys can see, it is or uh, it's a mess in here. You can even see that I still have stuff I got to put up. I'll get to that in a minute. Now, with being organized comes with also planning. You have to have things in place for you to be able to get things done, but also for you to reach your goals. So I plan three different ways. So I plan monthly, I plan weekly, and I plan daily. So really monthly is just to see what do I have, you know, right now at this moment, at the beginning of the month, what do I have going for myself? So I'll just plan the whole week using my calendar behind me. Next, I'll plan weekly as well. So the weekend is just a great way to kind of sit down, think about what I have to do for the week. Now, I know that things pop up each and every day, not just with social media content, not just with professor life. So that's why it's also important to plan daily. So I'm going to take you guys through how I organize, how I monthly plan, and also how I weekly plan as well. I'll also take you guys through a couple of apps that I use to actually plan daily. So first, before I do anything, I'm going to put up my new, what is this? My new tacky board. It's like a bulletin board. So I have been wanting a bulletin board so I can stick stuff on there. And only because of the simple fact that if you think about it, you can write down everything, but in some ways you need to kind of see your goals. So sometimes I like to write down things, have it in place, but I want to be able to stick it up so I can see it each and every time I come into my office. So we're going to put this up. I actually got it from um, Target. I also got these little sticky things too, so I won't have to nail and hopefully I'll get it straight. <laughs> Y'all know I'm not too good at that. This is pretty straight though. So we're gonna do that as well. All right, y'all. Um, okay, we need to take this down. Oh my god! Well, it's not even nailed. Oh my god! Wait. Oh, okay, okay. I see what I have up here. Oh, I don't want to take it off. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let's grab a step stool to figure out what I got going up here. Hold on. Let's see. So I don't have it nailed. I have those little sticky things on it, and I'm trying to not screw up the wall. Oh, I'm not. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. We good so far? Good so far? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. That makes it a lot easier. I forgot I put those things up there. Okay. These actually are coming off rather easy, which is nice and it makes it easier to stick back up there. I think that was it may be harder though. We'll see. Just want to get these off. Ah there. Okay. Alright, let's put this down that down there okay so we have a board let me see this will work so I thought this will be kind of better than getting another dry erase board because I can just put stuff up there put it down and then pull it off if I need to so I like that aspect of it and for some reason something told me to go to target instead of walmart to get it and yep Ugh. 
I did myself some justice. Okay. Let's see. We are not going to use any hammer or tools because I refuse, but I need to figure out how to go about this. Why is this so weird? Oh, okay. So we're <laughs> I'm like, why is this so weird? So we're going to use these two. Let's see. Okay, let's, we're gonna figure it out, y'all. Okay, we'll figure it out. I just need to do that. We did it! Yeah, guys, that was the hardest thing I've ever done. Since I don't like to use like measuring or anything, so yeah, we did it in a straight. We got a little flaw, but that's actually was there when I moved here, so we're gonna, we'll think about really repainting this whole room anyway. So, um, my goal for this is to kind of put my vision board as well. So I did do a vision board, but didn't really show you guys it. So that's okay. But we have cool little thingies, thumbtacks, <laughs> thingies, thumbtacks to use for here. I actually just got these from Walmart. So we're going to use those. Um, let me find... So this is my vision board, literally. I did this at the beginning of the year, didn't show you guys. So this is like kind of like my thing, you know, level up, productivity, relax. Um, great things take time because I'm kind of getting frustrated with, you know, business stuff, trying to get that squared away. I wonder who's at my door. So I want to see if I can either put this up or, oh, I can just take these out and put them up. That'd be cool. So let me do that. Let me just, let's see, put that. I think that's kind of cool to just, let's see, have little thingies up of my goals. There we go. Put that up. And I really just want to just, you know, make sure I have a vision because you always want a vision, but a vision without the work is, it's, it's not really going to do you any good. So, oh, this is probably the best idea I can have to where I can actually see, um, I can make sure that I'm focused, what this is. This is probably just gonna be half of it. And I love this quote, when I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. So, I like that. I like that. Put that there. Um, what else from here? Level up definitely is one of my goals for this year. And I'm slowly, slowly doing that. Let's put one more picture i think this this and this kind of sums it up so one is just you know really people who come together working on a, a theme like that's kind of what i want to do this year and maybe i'll kind of focus in on it once school is out i really want to put my team together and i really want to work towards a goal to where i can merge fitness mental health um i can merge kind of the things i've learned along the way in my professional life to um, just people in general. I think it'll be helpful. All right, and one more, one more, there. And I got this original uh, vision board probably like two years ago. And I got it on Amazon and it comes with a bunch of pictures where you can just make it and it's so, so awesome. So I actually like it. So what else, what else can I put up there now? Cause I know I'm gonna add stuff on it a little bit later. So let's see, let's kind of rummage through the things that I have. All right y'all, I don't have too much of anything right now to put up here, but like I said, my goal 
is to have this as like my vision board for the direction I want to go in my business. So most likely I'm going to put up um, probably since I have a program coming out um, pretty shortly. I'm going to say probably May, early June. Now. I'm going to try and hit it. Put that up here. Put like business goals I have. That way I can see them just like I see everything else in this room. So um, next, let's do the monthly calendar. Y'all, this is probably the best buy I can have. And funny thing is I had to buy this again because I think I had it at my, my old place, but I messed it up. But anyway, it's basically a fillable in monthly um, calendar. I usually have like what's hot down here. Um, things going on with school, my daily life, blah, 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 blah. So it is no longer March, and today is April. So I'm going to use a whiteboard watch, if I can get it off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I'm going to use one of these and just clean my board. Let's clean it. And I like those, these better, even though, you know, it's probably not, you know, nature friendly, but, you know, I don't die from, like, the, the spritzer stuff in it. So, just clean this up. And usually the, with the markers, I try and kind of make it, like, themish in a way. Because I have so many different colors. So, that's clean. Get that clean. Whew. All right. That's clean up. So, let me dry a little bit. <laughs> a little bit let's get our marker so what color should we get so it is april so let's do blue blue green yeah blue and green so let's do blue for the month and then green for the numbers so it is april and no no it doesn't work ah it doesn't work okay Let's see if, let's just try this. And these are markers I got off of Amazon, so some of them are a little dry. So, okay, we have April. We might as well do the month. So, what's today? Saturday. Today's Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday since the first. So, what I'll do is in different colors, I'll set aside like my personal stuff I have to get done. I'll set aside school meetings, anything related to school separately. Sometimes I will put like social media things I need to get done on here, but I have a separate board for that, so that makes it easy. Um, I don't put like my meetings with students on there. I, I usually put the meetings with students on on my uh, daily um, kind of um, thing, planning, planning <laughs> that I do. But let's see. I'm trying to think like... It's hard to really say what I have personally since I don't, a lot of stuff is coming up soon, but personally, I don't have anything going. Is today the first? It's Saturday? So weird. Today's Saturday, right? Because they're, yeah. Wow. I'm having a moment. Okay. So I have more school stuff. So let me grab my phone because that's why I have a lot of the stuff in emails. All right. Most of the time I get stuff. Um, email to me specifically so I'll put it on my Google Calendar. But one thing to note for April, last class of the semester. Yay, I always make a point to that because, y'all, that is like the last day I have to go in and teach in person. But actually in most of my classes early, but I also have class starting like in May, so it's no no fun, no bueno at all. Alright, so I did not put a lot of stuff in my calendar. So I have to go back to my email for school stuff. So and I haven't done a lot. So on the 28th, 
on a Friday? Why she do it on a Friday? So Friday, three to five is, so my college that I work in, we have always in a year meeting. So you see um, in year meeting. And this is from 3 to 5 p.m. Why so late on a Friday? I gotta be in Carrollton. So, usually April is a little busy. So, I try and make sure that's done. So, we, we got that. Okay. I feel like there's more in here that I need to square away. So, blah. And I was so bad this month with, okay, so 18th. So here we have a advisory board meeting. Advisory board meeting. And that's late. It's 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. And that's in Z6. Okay, so I'm using it on campus on either of these days. So it kind of works out. So most likely I'll probably cancel this class. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> but uh, that is going to be an essential meeting since um, I really, I personally really want to know what's going on in the field so I can tailor my um, teaching methods to it and what I teach as well. So we'll see about that. So that's that. Let me see. What else do I have coming up? I, I really don't know. I'll be honest with y'all. So really a lot of stuff have already been done. Oh, we got another one. This one's actually important. I need to do. So each year we'll have like trainings. Um, training requirements that, you know, we have to do to kind of keep up to date with, like, sexual assault, all the harassment, um, what to do on campus, blah, 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 blah. And I have not updated my, um, what is this? Training for, training requirement notice. Cybersecurity. <laughs> Cyber security training. Training, and that's due. April 28th. So I gotta get that done by the end of this month. I'm glad I caught that because I definitely forgot. And I knew about it a long time ago. Just procrastination, y'all. Procrastination at its best. Um, Unless something else comes up again with actual. I think that's pretty much it, yeah. That's it for major stuff. So, of course, this is all has to do with end of the year stuff for the semester. Um, there's not a lot going on up here specifically with school, just a lot of other stuff here. So, as the month goes along, if something pop up, I'll just write it on here. But normally, I'll know, you know, some of the big things that I have going for the year itself. So, this is pretty much for personal or teaching, anything professional life related, I'll put on this. I have a different board for my content for social media and my YouTube channel. All right, y'all. This is where I put the things that I know I need to post for some of my um, ambassadorships, sponsors, etc. So most of the time, I'll get some along the way that I know that I'll add. But you know, my primary um, poster or sponsor really is my protein. So um, this was last month. Last month was crazy with a lot of stuff. Um, to submit at the beginning of the month. This month isn't that bad, but I will also put up um, YouTube uh, content that I'm going to post this month as well. So let's just clean the board a bit. Here we go. And on this board, I use different markers. I use like the ones you'll see like in college classrooms. I'll put use those to do that so let's do this there we go yeah we got it okay that's fine 
markers. Let's go over here on the side of the computer. So I have a dedicated markers for this. This one. So I have content. I have a lot of content due in one day for my protein. Um, and I'll just kind of stick that up there. I won't tell y'all specifics because it's a surprise. But um, let's just put... That thing is still wet. Hold on. Ugh, let's get a dry one. There we go. Get that dry one. Here we go. Okay. And these are cute. Okay, let's do green. <laughs> it's funny. I spend like most of my time trying to figure out what color I want to use. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me. So let's do MP content. I only have a really main content that's due for them. Um regarding their new protein way forward. And that's due Monday. <laughs> I still have a long ways to go with that. So we have that. Um all the stuff that'll come along the way. So um able content, um by the protein content. That kind of just kind of fizzles within the week if you know I'll plan it weekly of what I want to do. But monthly, this is kind of what I know monthly. So I'm transitioning to really putting more content on YouTube because sometimes I feel like some of my content um, can get convoluted in Instagram. And plus, I really want to kind of expand my horizon with my content. So let's do, do we want to do blue? Do we want to do blue? No, because blue is dead. Blue is dead. That mark is done. Okay. Let's see red. Okay, we got red. <laughs> we got red. So I'm going to put up here YouTube content. So I do have a few for YouTube. Um, YouTube is really going to focus in on what I do for my life. So something basically this. Y'all will see this. Um, but YouTube is really just going to be a way to where I can reach people that really just need advice really need you know just to kind of see like how i balance everything so we have first this video <laughs> i can't believe i'm saying it on here so this video so this is more of like weekend planning and organizing I am going to be doing a balance video, so kind of how I balance everything. And then a workout with me. Now, I have to kind of keep it in perspective, so I don't put a date on it, because if I put a date on it, I'll get overwhelmed. So. I'll let you guys in. I'll probably talk about this in another YouTube video. I get really bad anxiety. Um, I stress myself out. And I sometimes like to place things on my plate that I know I probably either shouldn't or probably need to not put a set deadline. And me, I, I just really get in my head a lot. So we're going to focus in on these things. Now, um, I also... Um, Want to put up here business stuff. Let me find another great marker. We got another marker. Okay, so I'm gonna try and close this off. And this one sucks. Let's see. So for my branding, so for Dr. Brittany Fitness. So this month for my business, I really am gonna focus on rebranding and what that means is I'm going to really hone in on my audience on my vision on what Dr. Breaking Fitness means to me but also means to other people and I'm going to really get a business plan together so I can really set it forth like I really want to transition away from academia and really focus on something I really truly love and that is fitness that is helping others but also helping mentor other people specifically like tell them like my tips tell them how i got to where i got in such a short period you know i'm still young i've been in a teaching game since in my mid-20s 
Um, and I, I think it's time to just, you know, really live for me. So I really want to focus in on that this month. So I'm not going to put a date on any of this. That stuff is strictly just like, okay, this is what I want to do. Let me focus on that. And whenever I feel like I'm going to pick up my camera and actually film it, or I'm going to pick up my pen and paper, but this specifically is really what I want to focus on. So that's just monthly planning. This is just monthly planning um, in itself. So with monthly planning, as you can see, I have stuff everywhere. So I really need to get myself organized. Um, that means kind of organize my desk, organize this office. That way I can actually just be like, huh, this is my mental space where I can come in and really dig in and build on what I really need to do. So let's get the cleaning. All right, now stuff that's been compiled that I need to put away. So let's see. I think that has one. Yeah, so I have a folder specifically. This is school stuff. Um, these are my keys for my statistics stuff. So I got to put that away. Um, let's see what it does. Oh, this is stuff I need this week, literally. These are lecture notes. So this is for corrections. So I teach intro to corrections and corrections. So these are just uh, topics I'm going to touch on. So this week is women in corrections and also specialized populations of inmates in corrections. And then I also I'm going to start the um, next week lecture, which I've already had. I just like to fine tune it because it changes from year to year. So death penalty and death row is next week, which is one of my favorite topics to talk about and introduce to students um, in my class. So let me find the folder. I actually need to leave this on my desk. So, And the last little bit I have on my desk, I usually keep. So I do journal. Um, I find that journaling um, when I'm stressed, when I have anxiety, um, even when I'm feeling good, I'll, you know, just go and journal stuff. So... I like to keep this um, at bay. So this is also on my desk too at bay. So this is like the best journal of the year. So I kind of introduced you guys to this um, on my, if you follow me on Instagram, but it's just a way that I can like go through and prompts to where I can make this year great. So we'll put those two together. And then what I use for my weekly planning um, is my product. Productivity Planner from Intelligent Change. I love this thing and it has kept me more so organized weekly. Um, I also um, use this, I use an app as well. So I'll do like weekly and um, weekly, <laughs> Jesus, and daily planning. So I'll do that here. So this is more so weekly and daily as well. And I'll actually put it in my um, actual program app that I use on my iPad. Y'all, I'm weird. I like to like have it virtual. I like to have it handy. I just want it everywhere, which is, is so weird. So we're also going to do this. So that is next up to do this weekend is to plan. But first, I got to get this room organized, y'all. It's just a mess. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are back. Um, today is the next day of the week, Sunday, and I finished cleaning up my office, got organized, and finished my monthly planning. So today, um, normally before the week starts, um, I'll do my weekly planning. It's easier to do weekly plannings on Sundays because I have everything I need from the weekend because usually I'll get those last minute students to email me. And then I'll actually be like, okay, let me plan my week. So today I'm going to show you guys um, one kind of like two different ways that I weekly plan. I'll plan on my little calendar, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And then I use an app also to plan. So don't mind my hair. <laughs> I have it up because I just washed it and I usually do an overnight leave-in conditioner. So I'm doing that. So don't mind my hair. So <laughs> let's first get started. All right. So I received this planner from Intelligent Change. It's called Productivity um, Planner. What it is, is it basically gives you blank pages. 
So it gives you daily, but I like to use it more so for weekly first and then each day I can go in and kind of see what I need to do in the morning. It's just easier to kind of see like, okay, I did this yesterday, what am I doing today? But it also it gives you a way to see what you have planned out for the entire month. So, or month, I mean week. <laughs> I'm always thinking about the month. So it goes from Monday to Sunday. And of course, I always like to, you know, focus on what is my main goal for that week. So this week coming up is really, really at ease. I got a lot of stuff prepped last week. It's also the end of the semester and I have pushed a lot of due dates back. So really this week, I really want to focus on research. So we're going to put that up there. So research is the most important. Then I go through the most important tasks. So I'll go through, um, what I have school wise, what I have content wise, you know, that sort of thing. So I'll kind of go through those big things as well to kind of see what I need to do. I'll look at weekly overviews. So my weekly overviews are like deadlines I got to hit this week. I don't have any, which is good. Um, I don't have like important events this week at all either. The one main thing also about this week that I always love to include is something dealing with self care. So what is my self care this week that I want to focus on? Um, and for me, really this week, I just really need to continue to stay balanced. Balance is everything to me and I'm trying so hard to work on it and I'm getting better at it, but we'll just kind of put that in. So self-care commitment is balance. We'll put that in. And of course, habit tracker. Now I do want to drink more water this week. Drink water. <laughs> I want to stay away from candy. Only because, guys, like, when I'm about to hit my cycle, it's like my sweet tooth goes crazy. So, um, and if you hear a little scrunchy in the back, it's bueno. Bueno. <laughs> All right. So, drink water. Um, another habit tracker. I'm really good at most of the things that I do, so that's kind of fine. But I'll just kind of go through, sit here, and kind of do my weekly, what I have weekly to do. So, I'm going to do that right now. All right, so y'all, I finished just writing it down. Now, some of you guys may say, why don't you use technology? It'll help. Now, I do use technology, but I do like to kind of see, like, what I'm actually doing each and every day on paper. I don't know. It's just something about just using technology alone that wears me out. I need to actually see it, physically hold it, even though I'm about to show y'all this app that I use as well. So, have a, these are just my weekly things down. And I have that, so we can now start to transition to the app. Now, the app is fun, so I have it on my MacBook. I have a MacBook, my Mac, iMac, I have it on my phone, but mostly I use it on my iPad because it's a little bit easier. So, I'll go in here, and most of the stuff is already prepped for my app. So, let me get into this fun little thing. Okay. So the app that I have and you know, I bought it because I wanted to kind of see if I can find something to not only, you know, keep me organized, but also I can like sync it with my Google stuff. I can sync it um, with just uh, about anything. So let me, uh, let me find it. Let me tell you all about the app. There we go. It's called Structure. So I'm going to see if I can like, yes, I can. <laughs> All right, so here's the app. So the app, as you guys can see, I already have like things already in there. So Monday is pretty much already taken care of. I have a slot where I have my actual, like what I need to do and some of the stuff I actually can't cross off. I have completed stuff that I've done. It's just kind of cool. So let me go to, so I have the Structure Pro. It's $7.99 yearly. You can buy the app itself but I wanted to kind of see if it works out for me. Um, you can set reminders. You can, you know, like I said, you can sync it to your calendars. I have it synced to my um, Google Calendar, so both for my business and for um, school. Um, you can change the appearance, get alerts, everything that is in here. You can also set up to where it'll actually tell you, remind you, say, hey, you need to take this time off to just focus in on you, work out, that sort of thing. I kind of like it that way. So let me let me go back and show you guys a day. So this is just a, a day back in, you know, back in January. I just picked this day. So I always have that. I take my vitamins in the morning just as a reminder, knowing that I need to get my vitamins in. 
birth control at night, workout, you know, I'll just kind of plan my day. It's just so easy. I do this daily. I don't do this weekly. Now, if I have like important tasks I need to put in, I'll put that in there. Like, so I've already paid my business registration. I've already did my uh, city training. So those can go. Let me see. Those can go so I complete, complete, um, already outlined my two research projects that I'm working on with another colleague, um, already did that. It's a lot of stuff that, yep, already did that complete. So I'll just go in and just make sure that, you know, I can just, you know, get all that stuff done and out the way. It's just an easy way to keep myself organized also daily but also just some of the simple tasks i may miss out on um specifically like taking vitamins and that sort of thing so let me stop that so we have that in there so i'll mostly deal with that out when i'm just doing like the random things during um the day so in the mornings when i'm having my breakfast and my coffee um right before i start all my tasks um i'll do that specifically it's more important when i'm actually in the office um doing certain things but from what i have really learned about how i operate i operate in an organized way and i've kind of you know attribute that to a lot of success that i've had in my life so if i don't monthly plan if i don't do even weekly planning or even daily planning i'm kind of off and i start to panic a little bit and i don't want to do that so i always ask people are you planning are you making sure that you are not just planning out what you need to do but planning out your downtime that's one thing i need to learn <laughs> that's one thing i need to learn for sure so y'all i am going to let this be um i've already done a lot i'm gonna prep for class tomorrow but i hope you guys have a great week but most most Mostly, I want you guys to take from this is that if you just do one thing, if you just plan monthly, if you just plan weekly, even if you plan daily, you'll see a difference. You'll see that, okay, most of the time I am spending doing nothing, you know, important with my life. But now you can kind of see on a daily basis, you can actually physically see like, okay, I did this, 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 but I could have been doing this, 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 this. So it's just, I don't know, it's just a good way. So... Let me get back to this. I'm prep for, you know, teaching tomorrow and I am out. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs>